a hot button social issue in a suburban district. Tonight, a group of students in Gretna is demanding to assemble during school hours. But administrators are telling the anti abortion group if they want to meet, they can do so before school. Reporter Nick Starling joins us with the controversy. Nick? Dragons for Life, a pro life group, are saying Gretna High School has unconstitutionally discriminated against the group's president by, by denying her the right to form a school sponsor club so they don't have to meet before school. I won't stand by and watch, you know, our students' um, rights be violated. Gretna High School junior Bridget Christensen is disappointed her school will not officially sponsor Dragons for Life, a pro life group. She says this is pure discrimination. And I think it's important that um, our school doesn't discriminate us against, against us just because we're pro-life and allows all students' point of views to be heard. Dragons for Life is currently a school-recognized group, meaning it can meet before school, not during the school day. The regional director of Students for Life says that isn't fair. Meeting before school is really inconvenient for Bridget and the rest of the members, especially because most of them are in band. So meeting at 7.15 a.m. is not fair when the other groups are being able to meet during homeroom. Gretna's superintendent says the district's lawyer met with Dragons for Life students about sponsoring the group, which fits in with other school-recognized groups like Pray Around the Pole and Campus Life, who aren't school-sponsored. And they pretty much brought us in and said that's not going to happen. Um, and that's because we're too political, we're too religious, and we're too controversial. Controversial or not, Christensen says she'll keep fighting this until it's resolved. This is totally unfair. The group has given the school a deadline of two weeks to decide on this issue. And if it doesn't allow the group to become school sponsored, they are threatening to sue. Reporting live in studio, Nick Starling, KMTV Action 3 News. Meantime, this was wonderful.